Techno World have developed five golden rules of welding. But before we get into that, we'll talk a little bit about safety. Safety is an important part of making sure that you don't hurt yourself or others in the workshop when you're welding. So when you're welding, make sure your collar is done up to the top button, make sure you have appropriate jacket and gloves, and make sure all of your leads are in good condition and there's no copper showing through the insulation. Safety is its own topic that needs to be covered by itself. So what we will do is we'll go straight into the five golden rules of welding. So these five golden rules have been developed because when we go into workshops and people are struggling to weld, often it's because they're missing the basics. And those five basics are, make sure you can see, make sure you're comfortable, make sure you maintain your equipment, always weld from the bottom up, and finally, make sure your weld is level. So making sure you see is a really important part, because if you can't see, you can't weld. So if you have a helmet that's covered in spatter, and you can't see through that lens, how can you expect to get a nice clear view of the whirlpool and produce a world that is good as it can possibly be? So before you start welding, get your helmet, make sure the cover lens is in place and the dark lens is in good condition and clean. Even brand new welding lenses, particularly the darks, have a layer of oil on them. It must be part of the processing. So don't just pull them out of the packet and put them in because it will distort your vision. Pull them out, clean them with a dedicated lens cleaner and then put a clear cover lens over the top. So your lens should look something like this and always make sure you've got a clear lens on the inside. The second golden rule is making sure that you're comfortable. If you were to write with a pen like this and not lean on a bench, you're never going to get neat writing. So it's important that you're comfortable when you weld. Now I did mention safety, and one of the things you should never put an electrode in a holder without a glove on. But because this isn't plugged into the machine, I can do it safely for demonstration purposes. So with the electrode in a holder, to make it a little bit more comfortable, you can bend the electrode. We often see people welding like this. But what you want to do is get down, get comfortable with your gloves on, and make sure you've got good control over the electrode. The same goes when you're using a MIG torch. You don't stand there one-handed and trying to produce a nice weld. You make sure you're comfortable, you lean your elbow on the bench, you get in a good stance and prop your body, keeping elbows in nice and tight. That way, you can get a nice, consistent movement of the torch, and that results in a nice, consistent bead. So maintenance of equipment is the next golden rule. It's important that you maintain your equipment. If your equipment's not maintained properly, it's constantly going to let you down. It can be likened to a Formula One car driver that doesn't have a car that's properly tuned or serviced. You can't win the race or produce a good world if something's not in good repair. So if you have an electrode holder that's damaged or the, the jaws inside are not in good condition, it's always going to struggle to hold the electrode precisely. The other one is always weld from the bottom up. So here we've got two fillet welds. And the reason we weld from the bottom up, it's like making a house. You don't start by building the bricks at the top, you always start at the bottom with a good foundation. So you start at the bottom, you put the first run in, and then you work your way up. Weld metal is a liquid and it needs a little shelf to fit on. The final one is follows on from always welding from the bottom up, is keep your weld metal level. So if we're welding on a 6G pipe, for example, your weave pattern shouldn't be across the pipe, but it should always be level. The reason for this is weld metal goes in hot, and hot weld metal is a liquid. It'll try and find its own level anyway. So if you put it in in a level pattern, you'll find you end up with a much better result. That's our five golden rules. 